Hi everyone, this is Liz from Liz's Party Designs. Today I am here with, I think, the final Texans baby shower themed items. So, I've loaded all the other videos and hopefully those will get downloaded to my YouTube here very soon. Um, I've done banners, I've done game books, I've done... Uh, now diaper cakes and also the field goal centerpieces. So I already assembled one center, I mean one diaper cake. Um, this is not the diapers I normally use. Uh, my niece bought these because these are the, the ones she chose to use. Because these diaper cakes, like I say, are, um... Uh, can be disassembled and used. That's what they are for. So, um, when she's ready to use them, she'll just break them up and use them or whatever for the baby. And the brand she wanted was a specific brand and it has this pattern on it. So, I think it combines well with the colors. It's okay. But if I were to make this to sell, I would have rolled each diaper in white tissue just to make it look... Just to give it that solid uh, white look. Uh, but it's okay. This is what she brought me. She said she didn't care. Um, but normally I make my diapers that are all white. Um, and because this was her item. She decided just to go with the pattern it has on there. Which is not a big deal. It's her, eye, it's her decision. And it's what she wants to use. So um, that's what we did. Uh, hold on here. Let me lower the volume really quickly. All right, make sure it's not too loud. Okay. So, uh, if you've seen my past diaper cakes that I've done, uh, you, you'll know that my diapers are all white. But anyway, let's move on. So, I went ahead and assembled... The ribbon around I got a red one to do so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and mix my paper shred and that is this blue color and red color so let me get my bowl here that I mix it in and I'm gonna I'm gonna do half a red and half a blue because it's quite a bit of Diaper cakes. I think it's four diaper. No, it's six. Six diaper cakes. So we need a lot of paper for the top of them. So I'm gonna mix blue. She didn't bring white. She just bought blue and red. I think that's all she wanted to use. And that is fine. Whatever she brought is totally fine. All right. So mix the red and blue. Get those all mixed up. Um, I think it has a lot of blue in there. So let me add a little bit more red. Just to kind of balance out the colors. Alrighty. So it's all well mixed. Now I'm going to get some of that since this one is ready to go. Um, also, you can see that the diaper cake is down here. The, the holder. Again, this is not what I normally make. I make mine double decked with the ribbon around. I just make it look a little bit um, more detailed. She wasn't picky about it, so this is what we're working with. I'm going to go ahead and add my paper shred. And I'll do that just to get pictures. What I should have done was just make a sample for me. On the way I usually normally make them. But that's okay. Not a big deal. Alright. So there's the paper shred for that. And there it is. There's that one. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one aside and I'm going to work on a red one. Now you can see this is really loose. 
Um, I don't remember how. Okay, this, yeah. Like I said, this is not normally how I make them, but I work with what I got or what was brought to me. So, that is that. Let me get another diaper cake. And I just need to add the base to it. <sighs> because all the... All the cardboards, or I mean, I'm sorry, all the diapers are rolled up and ready to go. So I'm going to get one that's really full. Okay, here's the disc. And I'm going to add the balloon holder. I need to get these posted in my shop, guys. I really do. So that uh, anyone interested in making these themselves can buy the supplies they need on my website. And I'm thinking of shutting Etsy down and creating my own website. Um, Etsy is getting outrageous with fees. And now they're starting to take my money that um i don't think they should take out before then before they need it so that's very upsetting i just found that out today and um it's very very frustrating i mean i i understand they're trying to improve for the better for their self but they're gonna lose i think a lot of people but anyway i will keep y'all updated as to where my new website will be and all that good stuff. Alright, so. <sighs> here's the rolled up diapers. Now. I think it needs another one right here. Because it's not, it's very. I don't know, it's very. The shape of it is not, I'm not feeling the shape of it. And we kind of rushed on these, so. Texans ribbon this one here and I'm not sure my niece found this but she brought it to me I believe it's at the local craft store we have here in Houston or actually the craft warehouse or party supply warehouse they have lots of stuff in that store I need to take y'all for a live or something in that store. They have really awesome stuff. They carry a lot of stuff from um, Oriental Trading. If y'all are familiar with that website. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to glue. She's just going to have to lose a diaper out of each one of these maybe. Okay, because that pop dot is not helping at all. That's probably what the issue was, moving around too much. All right, there it is. There's the red one. I don't like these stringy, these part, these uh, very stringy pieces. I take them out and throw them away. I like the very crinkled, very uh, tight curls or tight crinkle paper like this. Okay. And there's that. So I assembled the red one on camera and the blue one was already assembled before I got on. So 
that's it guys so now let's move on to the centerpieces here's the base for the centerpiece all done we did these last week um I told her we need to get stuff done early. At least three weeks ahead. You have to start at least a month ahead for decorating. You just have no idea. No idea at all. All right, I'm going to add a balloon holder because I don't want to stick, put my stick through the foam because it's going to be loose and all that stuff. So let me stick a balloon holder right on top of the foam and just let it dry. And I got all my sticks ready to go, so I don't have to worry about putting that together really. on the last minute. Uh, now that I think about it, these are for these centerpieces. And the ones with the straw, I mean the ones without the straw go in the diaper cake. Because they're pushed down so far, they're not going to tell what's on there. there those go on that and then the straw ones go on here like that because they fit in there um i don't think i want them that tall let me uh get my wire cutters and cut them down or cut it down because if i were to push this in it should go down further. It would have gone down further. So it would have gone down to like halfway or more. So let me cut that down. Okay. All right. Come on. I know you can get in there. I think I damaged the, the dowel when I cut it. There. Whoops. So there we go for that one. And she really liked the idea of it having the paper straw. So there's that. And those are done. So there's the diaper cake and the centerpiece, and I'll get pictures and have them posted on or after this video on my Facebook, on my Instagram. Please keep a lookout for my new website. Um, I will no longer be on Etsy. I am transforming to my own and just like taking a leap into, I don't know. Taking a leap into something like jumping out of a skydiving airplane or something. Literally, that's how I feel. I don't know what my fear is. I don't know why I'm scared to leave Etsy. I should have left a long time ago. But um, <sighs> this is the final straw I've had with Etsy. So I'm out. Um, it might take a while. might take another month or so. But I'm out. I am out of there. So please, please, please forward all your messages through uh through here facebook instagram and i might look into facebook who knows i mean i've people have been so successful there as well so um y'all have a beautiful and blessed day i will catch y'all later bye bye